With the help of his grandson, Mick Phillips is leaving for a tropical destination, but this isn't a holiday. He's carrying more than $12,000 cash for an illegal transaction. This is a trip he's legally not supposed to make, and bringing the goods home also breaks the law. However, there's no doubt what will happen if he doesn't go. Well, if I don't take the annual trip, I don't stay alive. So I'm willing to stick my neck out a little bit. This 68-year-old is defying all the odds, but he has to break the law. The only other option is stay at home and likely die. This is where we do all the coating, that green stuff. Back home outside Milwaukee, Mick oh, makes his living cool. running a small plumbing assembly plant. That's his job, and his passion is vintage yeah. cars. This was my grandfather's car. Same color, everything. My grandfather had this car. And but I found work this on the car and business were put on hold um, after the discovery of a spot on his lung. Late stage lung cancer, the top cause of cancer death worldwide. It spread to his neck. Radiation and chemotherapy helped, but little more could be done. The cancer would likely be back in months. He said that your cancer probably will not kill you, but the chemotherapy will because it damage all your other organs eventually. That wasn't good enough. So Mick's wife, who speaks Spanish, did online research that revealed an unlikely place for cancer treatment. She said there's a drug that's available in Cuba that the yeah, Cubans uh, came up with called Cimavax. And she was doing some reading about it and said that it looked very promising. Air Canada, Mick decided to go to Cuba, one of the few places where the drug is available, but he has to go through Toronto's Pearson Airport because, as an American, he's forbidden from traveling there or importing Cuban goods, even meds. There's also the taboo of going to a communist country Mick was raised to believe is the enemy. It was a scary proposition at my age to be dropping into a land like that with a, all that money in my pocket and and uh, wondering if I was actually going to get the real thing. The real thing is Cimavax, an immunotherapy drug. It switches on the body's natural defenses to attack cancer cells. Immunotherapy is already used widely for melanoma and other cancers, but Cimavax adds a new level of sophistication. One of the proteins circulating through the bloodstream is called epidermal growth factor. EGF protein helps normal cells grow, but cancer cells thrive on it as well. When Cimavax is injected into the bloodstream, it triggers a response from the immune system, creating antibodies that bind to the EGF protein and remove it from the bloodstream. Without EGF, cancer cells stop growing but normal cells adapt and remain intact. When Mick arrived in Havana, his first stop was the International Hospital to get Cimavax from his Cuban oncologist. The drug is part of a biotech revolution, born from the ashes of an earlier revolution. When Fidel Castro's forces overran the playground of the wealthy. Tanks rolling to the front. The regime poured its limited resources into health care, education, and research, and U.S. economic sanctions isolated Cuba, forcing it to create its own medicines. The country now cheaply produces 70% of its own medications, and with more than 500 research patents granted, more innovations are down the road. Cuba also boasts the highest number of physicians per capita in the Western world, about six doctors for every thousand people, triple Canada's ratio. This man is considered the father of Cuban immunotherapy, Dr. Agustin Laje. He rarely gives interviews, but we caught up with him in Quebec City. He's here to share secrets of Cuba's biotech boom and how it's being used to treat all kinds of diseases. The expectation is that more than half of the patients 
in the next uh, decade will receive one on another form of immunotherapy. So let's move to the fifth floor now. Uh -huh. The Quebec okay. government invited Lahe to discuss possible collaboration. Uh, your uh, technology will help a lot. Okay. Drugs like Cimavax are cheaper than a second round of chemotherapy and radiation, and they seem to be working. A published study shows patients with advanced lung cancer getting up to an extra year of life from Cimavax. Even longer for some patients like Mick, who have higher levels of EGF protein in their blood. That's how Cubans measure success, living longer. In different stages of the and emerging from the research is a new idea. What if we don't have to cure cancer? People used to ask when cancer is going to be cured. And the reality is that probably cancer is not going to be cured. It's going to be transformed into a chronic condition. And that is a different thing. So you see, diabetes are not cured. Hypertension are not, is not cured. But with these diseases, you can live decades with a uh, acceptable quality of life. And that includes some R&R. &R. For medical tourists like Mick, $12,000 US can buy a year of life. Canadian and European drug companies are reluctant to partner with Cuba to make Cimavax as long as the U.S. trade embargo remains intact. But that could finally be changing. This cancer institute in Buffalo has special permission to study Cimavax. So just via SSP alone? Yeah. Dr. Kelvin Lee and his team want oh. FDA approval for the drug and other countries are watching what happens in this lab closely. I think that there is a certain uh, degree of urgency, I think, uh, from both sides uh, to get this done, get this going. Lee has bigger plans for Cimavax. Imagine getting vaccinated against lung cancer. If you can use it in prevention, you can impact hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people in North America and hundreds of millions of people worldwide. So I think that if we get to those trials uh, and we can show that it can reduce your risk of getting lung cancer, that would have an enormous public health impact. While the Americans start testing Cimavax, Mick and his grandson are already back from Havana with their unusual carry-on. This is packed in ice packs because it has to be refrigerated. This is the vaccine. It's $12,000. I'm worth it. I decided I'm worth it. No problems at Canadian Customs, but to get the vials home, he still has to smuggle them across the U.S. border. Deep breath. Days later in Wisconsin, Mick's coming in for a checkup. Dr. Timothy Goggins was the oncologist who gave him a dire prognosis. That was more than five years ago, when he first started treatment on Cimavax. The cancer has not advanced. I've seen patients respond to chemotherapy and do well for a period of time, but almost universally they recur. And usually within a short period of time, um, to live five years with this is pretty incredible. It could take a decade for a drug like Cimavax to go from U.S. trials to the pharmacies of the world. Still, Mick's happy he's made it this far. As long as my doctor is there in Cuba and my access to the medicine remains there, I can stay alive, I believe. And I can come to work every day and enjoy life. Mick accepts he'll likely never be fully cured of lung cancer, and maybe he doesn't need to be. Vicadopia, CBC News, West Bend, Wisconsin.